So if you really want to master the art of speaking Spanish with people of different nationalities, the best way is to immerse yourself in the language and listen to native speakers in an authentic environment. For example, you can watch a video with many of the Spanish speaking nationalities mentioned in this article. Or you can listen to some of the other nationalities used in this video where different nationalities are mentioned. Or in this other video where a woman talks to her friends about her family tree. Since each language is individual, we cannot assume that we speak Spanish in the same way as we speak English. But when I learned to overcome this barrier, I was able not only to better describe myself to others in Spanish, but also to reconnect with my culture and accept my half of Latin. Half of Latin blood, learning Spanish will not only improve your conversational skills and vocabulary, but also help you better understand the Spanish media. When using national attributes as adjectives, they follow the same rules as other adjectives they must match the type of person or subject of the speaker. Let's look at six different rules that we must follow when speaking about nationalities in Spanish. Here's something new unlike English. Spanish does not use the first letter of nationality. Being an American of Venezuelan origin, it has not always been easy to learn to speak Spanish, because my father is from South America and my mother is from the United States. Like other adjectives, nationalities must be plural if they are used to describe more than one person or subject. You can also look for a particular nationality that you want to know and see the word used in different contexts in other fluent you videos. We talk about grammatical rules, how to say 51 nationalities and even how to talk about mixed races. In Spanish, nationality must correspond to gender. Learning Spanish is fun and easy with movie trailers, music videos, news and exciting conversations. Since you are likely to speak to people from Spanish-speaking countries, it will be useful to know how to pronounce your citizenship. There you go, a guide to everything you need to know in Spanish about ethnicity, origin and nationality.